Hi guys, hi everyone. Canada Immigration, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Joyce and on this channel I give content for Canada Immigration. I hope you guys are live with me. I decided to come live just to give you updates on Canada Immigration because guys, as we had uh, had last week, Canada Immigration they were saying that uh, they are reducing the number of temporary residents that are. But what is the truth? Because today I did another video on my other channel for Joyce Kainas Canada. And I said that uh, some provinces in the Atlantic provinces, they are still hiring. Besides them saying that Canada is not recruiting, they are actually coming to hire from countries where you are. They are coming to the UK, Cote d'Ivoire. They are also hiring in the um, Morocco. So what is happening? Where is the truth? Hmm? Where is the truth? They are saying they have a lot of immigrants here who are temporary residents in work with work permits and uh, they don't uh, they want to make them permanent resident before they do something else but yet we can see some provinces going out of canada to go and hire from outside canada so what is happening is could it be that the immigration is not liaising with the provinces or the immigration is not liaising with the employers because the employers are, are in need of people guys the demand is still there for foreigners because if the demand was not there then they could not go to hire in morocco and uk and Cote d'Ivoire. they could not go if they didn't want more more employees if they didn't want more workers like they're implying then they wouldn't have gone to look for people to work for them they would have stayed here and then create a program to absorb the people that are already here in canada so according to me, <laughs> I told you guys that Canada will never stop receiving foreigners. It's not possible. Canada is still suffering from population. You can imagine how big Canada is, and we only have a, a, a population of 40 million. Canada is actually bigger than the U.S. The U.S. is, is smaller in terms of landmass. The U.S. is smaller than Canada. And the U.S. has got over 300, over 300 million people that are living. And those are the, of course, there are so many undocumented people in the U.S., but the ones that are documented are actually over 300 million. Canada, and is bigger than the U.S., has got only 40 million. And out of these 40 million, the largest population of the people living in Canada are retirees, the seniors, the elderly who are not working and for some institutions you go and you find very old people at the reception still working they have not retired the companies do not want to let them go because they don't have other people to come and replace them if you walk on the streets you guys i have shown you on the videos that i do when i do vlogs on the streets a lot of companies are recruiting they're hiring Everywhere is written, we are hiring, we are hiring, we are hiring. So they are hiring, they, are in, they need, employers need a lot of workers here. Healthcare. I normally tell you that here in Canada, when you go for, for example, if you have an issue that would take you to a hospital, to the outpatient, emergency department, you would have to wait the whole day before you see a doctor, before a nurse attend you. So, so the, the thing is, they still need people. Canada will never stop needing people. So whatever they are saying, I don't know. What they should do is to actually absorb more people. They should not be telling us that, oh, we don't want more, more people to come to Canada. We are trying to put a cap on international students. They cannot survive without immigrants. They still need people. Canada is, Canada is a rich country, guys. Canada is very rich, very wealthy. So why would they not need people to work for them? How will they maintain, how will they sustain their economy if they refuse immigrants? So, well, according to my observation and according to me, I think they still need people, guys. Don't give up. 
do not kill your dream because of the rumors that are good. Those are political rumors, <laughs> according to me. It's not, yeah. So we still continue searching for, of course, more opportunities for you. Whatever we get, we'll drop it here. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned and keep your eyes open so that whatever we drop, you, you run after it. Like today, the video I did on my other channel where they are going to recruit. If you are in the UK, you should run after this opportunity. UK, if you're in Morocco, if you're in... Um, if you're in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, trades and healthcare, construction, and a lot of trades opportunities. Hmm? People are saying here yeah, there are no jobs. It's a lie. I saw somebody commenting on that video saying that he came to Canada for two weeks and then he gave up because even in his own country, Kenya, does he find jobs within two weeks and he's a new immigrant? You can imagine a, a foreigner. You, when you are a foreigner in a country, within two weeks, what will you have done? Within two weeks is when now you're trying to at least find an accommodation, try to look for yeah, paperwork. You understand? So if you are very impatient, then you may not survive in a foreign land. Because in a foreign land, you need at least to give yourself some time. Some time to find jobs, sometimes to at least get used to the system. Even the jet lag was not over. And then he was back home. He said two weeks or two months. Who saw that comment? <laughs> so jobs are there, guys. Jobs are there. Let nobody lie to you. Canada will always need immigrants. Okay. Let me see what you think. Hi, Marcy Thomas. Nice to see you again. Tracy Moema, Paul. Mohamed, again, Dio, Paul, Morigi, Sam, Vincent, Job, Lisi, Mohamed, again. Please like the video, Edina Wairimo, Alan. Sometimes I forget only to see it on the comments when people are saying, please like the video. Marcel, oh, I like that name. Ernest Kinudia, wow, I like your name. My first time to catch you live. Yes, your visa will be approved, don't worry. It is well. Edna, don't listen to them. My email. Are you sure you, know, you have been here for long and you don't know my email and the way I normally say it in all my sessions? Do you have a WhatsApp group? No, I don't have a WhatsApp group. I normally come live here and then I answer your questions. Whichever question you have, you can drop it on the comments. I don't have a WhatsApp group, but I have a Telegram group. If you want to join the Telegram, you can send me an email. Fish, fish hooks business, can you please respond? Okay, I'll check. Um... Thank you, Emily. Can people travel to respective countries for applications, especially Cameroon, since it's in Africa? The, the first thing is, first of all, to apply online. If you apply online and they invite you from outside that country, because they may like your resume more than the people that will attend, more than the, you know, if they're targeting, let's say, a thousand people in the UK, or maybe in, uh, in Cote d'Ivoire or in Morocco, and the people that will attend do not have the qualifications and you, you have applied maybe from Kenya. Why would they not recruit you? They will call you. I know of somebody who did that, by the way, some time ago, and it was Morocco. They, I think they really like going to recruit in Morocco. I don't know why. Maybe there is somebody who is pushing for their countries. I'd say, for example, me. If there are opportunities here, who will I give first? It's my Kenyan brothers and sisters. I'll, I'll first of all take the employers to Nairobi <laughs> before I take them to Nigeria or Ghana. I'll, I'll take the recruiters in Nairobi. And then so people coming from Ghana will not have to travel to Nairobi, right? Maybe there's somebody from Morocco living in, in New Brunswick trying to push for, the, for his own people. You never know this world. Hmm? 
Yes, Mercy. I'm praying for you. It is well. Hmm? Yes, Mercy. Um, in case you get Canada visa, can you land in any airport in Canada? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. But you need to have answers in case they ask you a question. Let's say, for example, your conference is in Ontario and now you land in Calgary. So Alberta, some people can land in Alberta and then you take another flight to connect to Ontario. So you, you need to show them that you have a ticket to connect to Ontario. Or maybe you need to tell them that I'm, I'm only spending uh, two nights here and then I book a ticket to Ontario in case they ask. A lot of times they may not ask. But in case they ask, if you if, let me tell you, a lot of times the, the officers at the airport are human beings. Sometimes they are, they are nice, just like us. Even me as a, as a nurse, sometimes I'm in the mood of talking nicely to the patients. Other times I'm not. It is normal. Even you at your place of work. There are those times that you'll be so elated to hand up clients. Other times you are like, come tomorrow. <laughs> it's the same thing with them. Because you realize some people go to the airport and 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 they are, they are you know their checking in is very easy. Other people go and they are harassed. Why? Because these guys are normal human beings. But you guys have you have heard that they are going to replace these, uh, especially healthcare, with uh, robots. Did you hear that story on social media? Actually, it was on a mainstream from US, United States. How can they? How can they say that they are going to replace uh, healthcare nurses with robots? Me, I don't think that is possible. If they do that, me, I will never go to the hospitals. We we all refused. <laughs> I don't think that is possible. So anyway, what I'm saying is that these guys are human beings. Let me not bring my politics here for the nurses, because if I start talking about nurses, I can finish tomorrow. My name is. Um, Jabulani, wow, please can I ask about recruiting South Africa because I applied? Oh, well, I don't know about South Africa. Jabulani, I know that song. Hey, you have a nice name. You guys I applied for visitor visa Canada and I'm at, at on stage that they ask me to pay flight ticket before they approve my visa. Does this work? What kind of advice? Who is telling you to pay for visa for for ticket are you using an agent because the embassy will never tell you to do that how can you pay for a ticket and you don't know whether you're going be very vigilant with the agents the agents that you're using could be fake because even for the for the itinerary you don't need to book a, a, a real ticket normally they make for you a dummy but somebody telling you to pay for a ticket, my friend, and you don't even know whether you'll get a visa. Me, I've never had anything like that. I wouldn't do that. Uh, Abati from Dubai, still waiting for my Canada response. Oh, a lot of you guys are waiting for your visas. There's a lot of you who applied and now you're waiting. I wish you all the best. I wish they could. Gosh, by the way, what is going to happen? Because a lot of people have applied and they're waiting there's a huge backlog for visitor visa me i don't know what is going to guys what do you think is going to happen what if they wake up one morning and they start dishing out those visas <laughs> like the way they did last year after covid remember what they did they issued everybody and people are saying oh those visas were all taken to the uk that's where they were all issued i don't know how true that is but I just pray they do something like that. They just wake up one day, they start, chua, 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 take, 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 take. <laughs> and then the shelters will be full again. Eh, me, I would be very happy. I don't know what they're planning to do with those visas because there are many. The people that tell me they're waiting, there are many. I wish they start releasing them hmm? so that at least you know what you're doing. Because sometimes waiting... Me, I would get impatient. But anyway, let's not get impatient. Let's wait. I have, Joyce, I have to stay. Yeah? I have been wishing to stay and work in Canada. I'm telecom engineer. What are, what are my chances? Telecom, I don't know much about telecom, my dear. 
I don't know. I don't think they're in demand here. Uh, well, uh, let me not. I don't know. Are they IT or what are they? Telecom. I don't know who they are. Kifika, huko afanya nini kwanza? I have done that video, Edna. I have done a very nice video talking about how what you do from the airport, from day one onwards, step by step, what you're supposed to do. Thank you so much, Abati. Is there a bus transport in Muzjo? Yes, every province has got transport. Muzjo is developed. You are you're asking because it's it's a rural community. Hi, is even though it's a rural community, it's very developed. There is no community, rural community in Canada that doesn't have a, a bus. I don't think there is any. And the buses belong to the municipals. Muzjo, you want to go to Muzjo? Saskatchewan? It's good. Uh, are you caring about buses? Are you coming to Canada because of buses? Or you are coming, whichever pathway works for you. Even if it's the rulest, if there is anything like that in the dictionary. Even if it's Yukon, there, where there is no light, where there is darkness 24 hours and sunlight the 24 hours in summer. Hey, just come. As long as it's within Canada. It's only two, a matter of two years. You finish your contract and then you move to another province. You go to wherever you want. So if, if you get an opportunity like this, it doesn't matter whether they are buses or no. Even me, I live in the rural community and I'm here giving you content. I live in the most interior part of Ontario. Here we are even given some, some stipend. When we file our taxes, we are given some money three times a year, quarterly, to help us stay here, <laughs> to encourage us to not to live here. Can you imagine this country? It gives some people money so that they can agree to go to the rural. And there are so many opportunities. <laughs> that is one of them. Actually, I don't know why I had forgotten that one. Maybe it's because we are in the season of filing taxes. People that live in the northern part of Ontario, they get a lot of stipend for weather. There is another one for weather, harsh weather. You find it in the bank when you file taxes. Okay, so don't, don't ask about Musjo, it's very good. I was among the lucky one last year. Oh, you got your visa. Oh, you're in Canada, congratulations, you see. They gave so many last year. So I have never seen anything like that before. Ever since. I have never seen. Since I came to Canada, I never I never saw anything like that. They were dishing visas like, wow. So you'll be the one to pick me and my family from the airport. Okay, no problem, Marcel. No problem. I do that a lot of times, even though I live very far away from the airport. I live far, five hours away, five hours away from the main airport. But we have a small airstrip here. I did that video. You now talk less about IEN, BC, and CAS. It's because there is a backlog. Hmm? Chica, Emma, it's because of the backlog. That's why I, I, I got very discouraged, by the way. <laughs> I'm one of the people that got discouraged by BC. Because they had excited us. There was a lot of excitement. And then all of a sudden, there's a backlog. They are not saying anything. And even the worst about it is that it's, there is no work permit for BC. NCAS. There is no work permit. It's just a visit visa, which is... 50-50. You may get, you may not get. After doing all the work we have done for the nurses, you apply for a visitor visa, they deny you. It's possible. That's why I got very discouraged and I stopped talking about it. I stopped hyping about it. You know, when something is very new, we hype it, and then when the reality comes, we are like, ah, it was just another bad thing. Hmm? So I don't like it anymore. Actually, now I would even prefer somebody to do the NNES and come to Ontario. Yeah, you do your NNES, you get a temporary license for Ontario, find a job even if it's as a PSW, and then come. Come with a work permit, if that works. This is just another scam. 
laboratory scientist. I did that video. Don't miss out. Where did, where did I do that video? Was it on the study abroad channel? Check Joyce Canada study abroad, my channel for students. I did something for laboratory scientist or is it on express entry? Yeah, it, oh, I remember. It is on human capital, Ontario. Check it on Joyce Canada's Canada. I applied mine last year, April, until now. Under process. It's still under process. Oh, we cliff. There's nothing we can do. We can only pray. If there's a time we need to pray for, Canada is right now. Because if they kill immigration, even us, we are finished. Yeah. Because what will we be talking about? If they kill all the immigration pathways, what would we be talking? Me, I would just start vlogging. Because I don't want to hide things that are not real. I don't want to come here and tell you things that are not there. If they start, if they stop giving people visas, you just watch my content for cooking. I'll just go to my kitchen, start cooking, and then we we chat stories there. But anyway, they cannot finish immigration. There's no way. It's not possible because they need a lot of immigrants. How will you know if the visa has been cancelled or not? Through your email. They will tell you in your email. And even you should be able to check your GCK account. You should have your login details. Last year, I was frustrated by someone who had communicated for many months, insisted they will help, but at last refused to help with a letter from school where I would come. Oh, sorry for that. Human beings for you. Now I'm planning to apply for a visitor visa. Okay. Okay, I wish you all the best. Can I submit bank statement two weeks after printed? Yes, you can. As long as it's covering the last three months, three to six months, three to six months. I prefer six months. Even a, a, a bank statement that is printed today is okay. As long as it's covering the last six months. Okay. I skip my message. Which message? I didn't see it. Retype it again. Yeah, so don't give up. Canada is uh, Canada is a land of luck. It's either you get it or not. They have a lot of immigration pathways, but none of them is straightforward. <laughs> Because, you know, even the express entry, you can do the WES, you can do the IACS, and then you join the, the pool. And at the end of one year, after one year, they have not selected you. What will you do? What will you do? You can apply for visitor visa and they deny you. You may apply for study permit, they deny you. So uh, it's not just Canada. I think immigration is like that. Immigration is a thing of luck. Is it luck? Or somebody told me to be using the word favor. I don't know the difference. He said, don't, just don't be saying luck. Be saying favor. Okay, I, I, I withdraw luck. It's now favor. Favor. Uh, okay. Um, do you have someone who can help me apply from Doha, Qatar? Yes. Send me an email. JoyceCanada3 at gmail.com. JoyceCanada3 at gmail.com. Okay. I'm yet to receive my attestation letter from Keano College, Alberta Environmental Technology Corp Diploma. Oh, wow. Nice. Alberta will receive a lot of attestations. A lot. From September. Yangu. Harrison Shege. I see. September, just the other day. I have somebody who is waiting from February 2023. And another one, 2022, still waiting. So U.S. is just September. But I still have people who applied last month and they got their visa. So you can't even tell how long you, you are supposed to wait for this Canada. This Canada immigration for Joyce. Canada for Joyce. But it's such a beautiful country, guys. Especially now, now that the snow is over. Please stay tuned. I will start showing you around this place. You will like it. You will like it. Such a beautiful place with very beautiful people. 
I've never had any Canadian who talks rude. You know the way <laughs> back home somebody can just <laughs> talk rudely to you. I think people are stressed back home. Yeah, people talk so nicely. Even when you go to the institutions, if it's the bank, somebody comes to the queue and asks you, oh, can I help? Is this something I can help you so that you don't have to queue? If you say yes, they take you to their office inside there and then they help you with whatever you want, even if it's to withdraw or to deposit. You know, nice people. Uh, Canadians are very good. The ones I've come across, I've, for the many years I've been here, you will love it when you come here. Guys, those ones of you who are in Canada, please give that testimony so that these guys do not say that I'm lying. If you're in Canada, please tell them whether you like the place, whether you like the people, especially the people. The people are very good. The system is super. The, the environment is very beautiful. Be, apart from the cold, the cold is madness. <laughs> the cold is crazy, guys. I won't lie to you. I don't like the cold, but anything else is very good. Okay. Please repeat your email. Joy, I, you guys are new. If you're asking for my email, it means you're very new. Gosh, I've said this email for the last three years. Joyce, Canada, three, at gmail.com. <laughs> okay. How many YouTube channels do you have? I think I have 10. 10. Together with for my kids. For my kids, I think we have six. Some of them, they don't use. The, some of them lost their monetization. Well, let's not count for the kids. For me, the ones that are active are three. Let's talk of three. We have the big one, which today I think we should be 180,000. 180,000 for three years. Joyce Care in us, Canada. And then this is the, the second born, this one. Joyce Care content creator. And then we have Joyce, the, the third born, Joyce Canada, study abroad, three of them. And they're all doing very well. You want one? <laughs> the problem with me is content. If I have content, I would be very rich. Three channels that are very active. Make sure you subscribe to all of them because the day I will wake up and start putting content there, like back to back. You will love it. Um, you want to come as a refugee? Yeah, you can. You can apply as a refugee with the UNHCR back home. Or you can even come and do it here. It's up to you. But you must have a very good reason. Because a country that is giving you refugee cannot just give you like that. You must have a valid reason. Okay? Yeah, you have to have a very. I did that video. Um, I love everything there. By the way, I came while I was pregnant and my son is five weeks now. God is faithful. Yeah, imagine. You, you came with your pregnancy here. Tell us your experience at the airport. <laughs> eh? Tell us your experience at the airport. <laughs> Congratulations for a newborn baby. I know you're enjoying. Here, when you give birth, Canadians, they like giving to newborn babies. They gift you. You will have diapers, I think, for three years. Me, me, when I gave birth, I think they gave me diapers that covered me all the time my child was using diapers. I never bought. They gift you. Clothes. I think I, I only bought very few. They give you even stroller for the baby. They just hear that even when you're coming from the hospital, they will start giving you from the hospital. Now, I think if you want even milk, powder milk, none for the baby, they will give you for free. They, they like, they are givers. Back home, if you give birth, unless it's... <laughs> Let me not say bad things about my country because I love Kenya. I'm forever Kenyan, blood. We have our weaknesses, but when you come here, you, you change your mindset. You, you start thinking differently. 
you start reasoning different you are like wow oh so i can i can behave this way and not this way you think you guys if i was in kenya would be able to do this youtube i wouldn't but when i came here i realized ah so i can be confident so there's nothing i should fear and then one day chua, i started all of them three now i have three so some of you that don't have confidence that you're fearing what your grandmother and your mother are going to say about you when you come here you just get confident and you start your youtube and you start doing very well okay let's read the questions because me sometimes i give stories um should i be expecting the attestation because in my email they said they will respond within 10 days yes if they say 10 days 10 days is 10 days or even less among the luck last year planning to move soon oh you also got last year congratulations will they ask why i'm just coming yes if you got your visa last year and maybe the reason why you are coming last year has has elapsed you need now to find another reason to enter because at the airport they will ask you at the airport they have to ask you is it normal to apply visit visa here in kenya and you received it written issued in calgary is it genuine asking for my friend hey that one is fake issued in calgary what is that they, when they give you a visa they don't even tell you where it i don't know me i don't know what you're talking about florence there's a lot of scammers in this world go slowly I sat asylum immediately and I got my work permit after two months. My baby boy is now a case. He got everything. Oh, he's already a Canadian citizen. You know, when you give birth to Canada, your child becomes a Canadian citizen automatically. That's the beauty. And they give you a passport within three weeks. Three weeks, you have a passport at your doppel. At I think they, yeah, they normally send it at the mailbox very fast. <laughs> wow and that child start getting child benefit immediately mm. and it's calculated according to your income Joyce, um very good pray god bless you oh thank you so much timothy don't worry about conversion that conversion i normally say just come once you come to Canada, conversion will happen on its own. You are you are worried about conversion of <laughs> can you come and stop complaining? Just come first. Enter. Enter Canada. Hi, Amon. Keep Kemei. How are you? Nice to see you here. <laughs> so, guys, you have heard the stories for Canada. Let nobody discourage you. At you, there are no jobs. Because now when everybody comes to Canada, the next thing they do is to start a YouTube channel and start saying how there are no jobs. They should not tell you that. Jobs are there. And if jobs are there, you can also create your own job. You can be your employer. You know, Canada is, is also a very good opportunity, a, a land for other opportunities like business. If there are no jobs, then start a business. You cannot tell us that I came, stayed in Canada for two months, I couldn't find a job, I went back home. How? Unless you're not serious with your life. If such a thing happens, then you also employ yourself and start employing others. Canada has got a lot of opportunities for business. You come here and start a business, but don't come to tell us that, oh, I came to Canada, I couldn't find a job, I went back home. And then you write such a comment on, on my video. It's because you want to discourage others. And we are not going to allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. How? A country where there are so many opportunities like that, even for business. You can come and start business. Mm -hmm. 
But make sure you have a work permit. As long as you have a work permit, you can start your business. You can. You can. Do international students who have kids below 18 years entitled to child benefit? No. Child benefit is for asylum seekers, or refugee, let me call them refugee, PR, and citizen. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, because they are the ones that pay tax. Oh, even the international students, they pay tax, yes, but they are not entitled. I'm good. I made it to US, but Safari Bardo in Endelea. One day we'll talk. Oh, hiya, Amon. You are in the US. Congratulations. Uh huh. Keep on, keep on. Don't look back. And start sending me dollars from the U.S., please. Come on. Don't eat all the dollars alone. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. We are 16 degrees here. Imagine, 16 degrees. That's why the outside is very warm. And I went outside with a jacket. I went all the way to downtown, and people were staring at me. So they are wondering, it's 16 degrees, and you are wearing a black jacket. Maybe that's why a lot of people are staring at me. And they're thinking this black woman is wearing a black jacket in 16 degrees because we are used to a lot of cold. I think I had not checked the, the weather when I was going out, but it's 16 degrees. We are doing very well, very well. It's very warm. The kids are outside playing and it's 6 p.m. now. Uh, help me compare Swift Current and... Swift current and moose joke. What is swift current? I don't know what is swift current. Let me see. Is there a place called swift current? I've never heard. Let me learn something. Swift current. And you, you are lost for choice. Eh? Oh, I see it. Oh, it's in Saskatchewan. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> This is news. The population is 16,000. Oh my goodness. That is the remotest part of Canada. Oh my God. 16,000. You know my remote area where I live, we are, we are now 56,000. And I normally say we don't have people here. Where I live, we are 56,000. It's a rural community also. So this Swift, <laughs> it's called <laughs> Swift current is 16,000 people. Oh my goodness. And the land is beautiful. Oh my God. You should go here. Look at the images. If you go here, you're going to become a, a farmer. You go and do farming. And they can see they have a lot of fishing activities. Oh my Lord. Look. So beautiful. Swift current. I, I've never heard of swift current, by the way. What is there? What is good there? It was established in 1883. I would like to learn more about Swift Current. There's another rural community I saw. They have a thousand people. Guys, can you imagine? A rural community in Yukon. They have 1,000 people living in that city. I'm like, God, they know each other, all of them. <laughs> I wouldn't like to go to that place. If you are 1,000 people in a rural community in Canada, it means you know everybody knows the other. <laughs> hey, that one I wouldn't like. And most likely it, it's for the natives. Maybe it's for the, But the natives are very good people, by the way. Don't, don't be afraid of them. They are called First Nations or Aboriginals. They are very good. 1,000 people in a rural community. Okay, uh, go to Musjo. I think Musjo, you'll find a lot of immigrants because, again, I don't want you to go to a place where there are no immigrants. It will be so lonely for you. Go to Musjo. Musjo, at least I know there's a lot of immigrants. Huh? Go to Musjo. Somebody was telling me, we were just talking and he was telling me, me I, I, he said he prefers living in a place where there are, there are locals. He doesn't like where we are mainly as black people. He doesn't like where a lot of black people live. He likes staying with the white people. And I think I also support that. 
They are good people. They, if they like you, I, you live nicely, happily with them. The mug says I'm proudly Kenyan. This mug. Why? Because it's big. It's for Christmas. You can see it has a Christmas tree. <laughs> it looks like the one that we used to take Uji. Okay. Um, enlighten us about Finland if you have information about it. Finland. Finland, there are a lot of opportunities right now for caregivers. But uh, the, you remember the program I was telling you for caregivers for Finland? Somebody who went there last year with that program and it's for PR. She was telling me that Kenyans went there and then they, they, they fought with knives. And then now the agency that was given that job to take caregivers to Finland, the, the contract was cancelled because those two guys fought and they were deported. I don't know why they were fighting. So they, they spoiled for everybody. So even me, the people I wanted to help, my nieces and my nephews, I couldn't help them because now those two guys, they went to fight with the knives and now the agency, the contract was withdrawn for Finland. See what we do when we go to new places. It's not good. But Finland is a good country. You can look for other opportunities. The only challenge is that you have to study that Finnish language. You have to, to learn a new language, which a lot of people don't like. I got a notification from IRCC that I'm on pilot program during my hearing. Unaidanga, aya, aya, aya. I'm on pilot program during my hearing. Emily. Oh, I don't know that one. Tell us more. Pilot program during my hearing. I don't understand. You are confusing me. I haven't heard of any new program for refugees. Please, Madam Joyce, how possible is it uh, or is it to get work permit because seriously I fear because of new law. Don't worry. Why do you fear and you are not the only newcomer? You know how many you are. Instead of fearing, you should be focused. By the time they say whatever you have, they are going to say, you, you have already accumulated your money. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If God gives you an opportunity to come to Canada, and they give you that work permit, whichever route you use to get the work permit. In those five years that you'll be using that work permit, can you use it maximally? So that at the end of the five years, if they say, hoi, 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 what were Rudy Kwao? In French, in, in English, it means people to go back to their home. You, you, five years, my friend, five years. Hey, five years, you won't even need to be, to be here. You now start doing videos on YouTube. Why I have decided to go back to Africa after staying in Canada for five years. But if you come here and for five years, you're just buying new cars, showing off, sending pictures on your Facebook so that you can harass the people that are back home. <laughs> you forget the vision. In five years time, my friend, you'll go back home with nothing. But five years in Canada, even if they're paying you $10 per hour, you just live a minim minimalized life, minimal life. You become a minimalist. Five years, your life will never be the same again. It's an opportunity that God has given you. Please don't misuse it. Don't come here and, and lose the goal. Don't come here and start follow, follow, following, following other Kenyans. If there are parties, you have to go. Yeah? Instead of going to work, you're always parting, parting. My friend, five years, time is moving so fast. Time is moving so fast. Five years, you just set up like, like the solar eclipse. Did you see the solar eclipse that I posted? Like that. And then five years, you have nothing. If they give you five years. In five years, my friend, ah, you should have done. We should be seeing a flat back home. A flat back home. Huh. 
But if you come here, your work is just to pate pate. Huh? And you have a work permit. And then you start worrying, oh, I didn't, I, I don't know whether, whether I'll, I'll be able to change this to this visa. Oh, you are worried and you have a work permit, my friend. Just say this one God has opened. I don't know what will happen after five years. But in five years' time, if they say, hoi, hoi, back home, back home. Ah, my basket is full. I'll go smiling in the airport. But now, a lot of us, five years, we'll just go crying. You know that story in the Bible for those women who went harvesting. Some went back crying. Others, <laughs> well, I'm not so good in financial advice, but at least I can tell you those, these things happen. So don't ask what will happen to your visa. Use it properly. This is an opportunity. Huh? Tunakuja na PR. Eh, if you come with a PR, you're a citizen now. If you come to Canada with a PR, now you are a citizen. That's now very good. Hmm? Priscilla, nice to see you. Okay, so no fear. Do not fear. It is well. No fearing. And let nobody intimidate you. Because you come here, you form groups, and then in the group, you're putting fear in each other. I don't know Canadians. I don't know they are deporting. I don't know they are doing. So that fear enters you, and then you lose the big picture. Do not listen to anybody, my friend. Just assume here you came alone, and you'll go back alone. Give yourself five good years. Five good years. If it's a car, buy the cheapest that you can find around. Because you need one to move around. If it's renting, rent the cheapest that you can afford. The cheapest. Do not live very, very high. Let the goal be Moshe. <laughs> yeah? Some of you come here, you want to rent 4,000 per month. So that when your friends come for sleepover, they can have bedrooms to sleep. 4,000. You're paying rent. 4,000. 4,000, you're paying rent. What will you save? I know, Kay Renina. Somebody is saying, Mommy, as you said, we should try to have plans. Plan B, that is why I have applied for New Zealand work visa again. I started, wow, good, well done. New Zealand is very good. New Zealand, you'll go there to do farming like nothing else. You will do farming for cows. And, and invite me, I would love to visit New Zealand, by the way. If somebody in Zula, New Zealand should invite me, I would love to visit. And you know, New Zealand, you just cross to Australia, like shh, across the border. It's like US and Canada. And I think to go to the, when you have a work permit for New Zealand, you can use it to work in Australia. And vice versa. I think so. Is it work permit or PR that you can cross and work? You can. They have an agreement that you can work. Somebody is saying, my wife got a study permit and me with a visit visa. Can I come same day with her? Yes. If you can afford. This is now all about affordability. If you can afford, come, all of you. Because the more the merrier. If you hear the two of you, you start working and how she's studying. So bills will be met very nicely. And even your kids, let them come and study here. Okay. Now, if you like, if you write to me in Kiswahili, seriously, Gabriel, why don't you write to me in English? You are writing in Kiswahili and me, I don't know how to read Kiswahili. Me, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> I don't know how to read Kiswahili. Hivi inaweza kana kuomba na kupata kazi kwa employer direct bila kuwa na work permit. Niko China. No, it's not possible, darling. If you're doing masters in China, then you, you can come now and do an, a postgraduate program in Canada after China. U.S. is direct visa. Because you already have shown that you have history of going to study abroad. So from China immediately here, a postgraduate program of one year. And then after that one year, they give you work permit and then PR. 
If not that, express entry can also work for you. But you'll need work, work history, which you may not have. Well, those are opportunities that you can check. Uh, is it possible to... Arisi, uh, Adja, I've done that video, my dear. I won't, I won't talk about that here. So I, I see something to do with visit visa, please. Ah, what what happened? Why was it reviews, refused? Talk about international nurses for Nova Scotia. We applied since last year. Well, I called them. Nova Scotia, yes. I called them, me and my friend. She could be watching my videos. And I'm going to Nova Scotia in May. If God wishes, in May, um, we have a deal there. So um, when we called them about the international nurses, they said they have put a hold. They are not recruiting international nurses anymore. That they agreed they are going to recruit the international nurses, internationally trained nurses that are within Canada. So if you are in Canada, they are giving first priority to then internationally trained nurses that are within Canada. That's what they said. So they're not, they, but they said that the program is not closed yet, but they will reopen later. It's something they are, but they are, they are first of all hiring the ones that are already in Canada. That's what they said. I don't want to preempt more about Nova Scotia because I want to go there first and then I'll do a video and tell you what, what I found. There's a deal cooking. <laughs> you know, Joyce is, is always a deal person. Joyce is always a deal person. I told you when you come here, you have to be a deal person. Uh, when... True, five years you can do a lot. A friend went to Canada as a student, transited to PSW, and he rent 700 Canadian car, 2000, and she owns two apartments back home. You see? Congratulations to her. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of hope. Nova Scotia have answered that question. But keep following me so that when I go there, I'll, I'll come back with, uh, with feedback. How long does it call to be called for hearing? Within a year. Nowadays, they are doing it within a year. Within a year. Don't just stay somewhere waiting for hearing, my friend. You have a work permit. Utilize it. What are you saying? Clear all the debts. Because by the time you come to Canada, we, we are normally carrying a lot of debts. Very quick, clear all those debts back home. Clear, 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 clear. Immediately after clearing the debts, don't start sending money again to support even the, the villagers. Huh? Don't start sending. You can send, but not too much. Save. For tomorrow is not known. <laughs> Some of you said to villagers, and then the villagers take the money to the witch doctors. And then when you come to Canada, you are stuck. Because witch doctors went and did something on the money. I saw that on Facebook, guys, one day. I think it was last year. That video was circulating. Somebody had gone to the U.S. from Kenya. And then he sent money back home. And then the person who was sent, I think it was a villager. He took the money to a witch. Me, somebody cannot bewitch me. Ah, not when Jesus died on the cross. Ah, don't even try. <laughs> don't. Don't try, please. <laughs> How can a witch? <laughs> it means he was asleep. Because if a witch works on you, me spiritually, you are asleep. If somebody does that for you, me, I'm alert. <laughs> Always throwing arrows. Huh? Can you help me get a job? Any? Any? The Nova Scotia, you have sent a million questions and I answered, darling. Please. Please talk about tracking for women. Tracking is good here, but not as good as in the U.S. Because in the U.S., 
Although I was talking to another friend yesterday, she told me that even in the US, the money has gone low because of this AI. AI has come and now things are changing. I don't know how the AI is affecting tracking in the US. That's what she told me. That they are not getting a lot of money like the way they used to get before. Can somebody tell us how the AI is affecting tracking in the US? Please tell us. Me, I would like to learn. That's what she said. But for Canada, tracking is still there. But hey, tracking in the snow, ha, that's not a joke, my friend. You need to be very strong. Can I study visit? Can I study PSW with my visit visa? Yes, you can. But you have to convert to your visitor visa to study permit. You get a school, you get admission, you get a testation letter, and then you, you, you convert. It's possible. What are the chances of converting visit visa to work permit in New Brunswick? Yeah, there are many times. New Brunswick has a lot of... I don't know why visitors always think that Ontario is the place to be. Because a lot of visitors, everybody comes to Toronto. Well, I know Toronto, there are a lot of people from back home, so you are together with each other. But let me tell you, you are forgetting the, the Atlantic provinces. Don't forget New Brunswick. New Brunswick will always be a hot cake. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, they will always be the hot cake. Please don't forget, especially the trackers. If you want to do track, New Brunswick. I have friends who live there. And I need to look for them. I've missed them. I'll look for them after this video. Just remembered we haven't. I'm a healthcare aide in Nigeria. I have been applying for LMI jobs. There's, uh, it's not easy, my friend. It's not easy, that thing called LMI. Uh, for hearing, is it the lawyer who, who defends a response to the judge on the refugee date? You need to watch a lot of videos, Tracy, on YouTube. Because me, I have watched a lot of videos. Just type hearing in court in Canada. You will, people have recorded, they're here on YouTube. You will see what happens inside the court so that you're prepared. People have done those videos. But if you want an interpreter, normally they'll give you, even if you want a Kikuyu interpreter or Kiswahili, they will give you. But it's not the lawyer who talks, it is you. The work of the, he sits somewhere there just to watch you and maybe do clarifications. But it's you who answers. That's why if you cannot speak English, they, will, they will ask you which language can you speak. They, you say Kikuyu. They will get you a Kikuyu interpreter. It's you who talk. I saw somebody doing it during COVID because during COVID they were doing it online. But nowadays, I think even nowadays you can do it online. I don't know. Uh, how much is the proof of fund for a work permit with a job offer? You don't need proof of fund. If you have a job offer, you don't need proof of fund. Why do you need a proof of fund and you have a job? When you have a job, it means you'll be able to support yourself. The work of a proof of fund is to prove that you will be able to sustain yourself. But now if you are coming with a job offer, you don't need, even for express entry, if you have a job offer, then you don't need to proof fund for PNP. I mean, I'm about to apply express entry I'm, I'm, as a nurse in my home country for five years. But, um, I wish you can apply as a caregiver. Please, my, I find it difficult to book one on one with you. Why? Send me an email. And Joyce, some visit visas are also issued from Calgary as well. Oh, it's genuine. A friend of mine had hers issued from Calgary as she has gone to Canada. She's still there in November. So if it is issued in Calgary, what do you mean? You have to come. Oh, if it's issued in Calgary, it is sent now back home. What do you mean? I don't understand. Somebody should enlighten us. You mean it was issued in Calgary, so the, but the, the passport, you have to take it back home. You can't take it to Calgary. Oh, I understand. I understand what you mean. Guys, can you imagine it is one hour? 
I, I normally love coming live. One hour, just like that. So now it's time to go. I need to take the kids to the park down there, somewhere there. We have fun and then we come back and, and sleep. Email address Joyce Canada 3 at gmail.com. Also talk about accelerated nursing. George, accelerated nursing, I said, is for those people that want to do nursing, but previously you didn't have nursing. If you are a nurse, let's say if you are an internationally trained nurse, maybe with even a bachelor's, you cannot do accelerated nursing. You don't qualify. Qualifications is that you must be, you must have done another bachelor's, which is not nursing. Actually, they don't even like healthcare. They like people who are not in healthcare. And then now, accelerated now is, is called, some places they call it track, fast track. Fast track nursing, one and a half years to two years, depending on where you're doing it. But you have to have a very good GPA, I think of four. And then you can enroll. We call it a night in Kenya. Okay. What time is it in Kenya? Oh, so she should be okay. So somebody is saying here that if you find your visa is written, issued in Calgary, you should not worry. Don't worry. I'm currently working as okay. All right. I think I, I answered all the questions. I hope, you are I hope you are happy. And because you're happy, make sure you like this video. And make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you're not my friend. My friends are those ones who have subscribed. So make sure you subscribe and just know that I love you. Take good care. And God bless you. 1.40 a.m. What are you doing at 1.40 a.m., Tracy? You woke up to pray. 1.40 is too late. Hey, here it's 6.45 p.m. Eight hours difference. Okay. Thumbs up to the video, yes. Thank you so much, Tracy. And I wish you all the best. I love you too. Bye. Good night. Take care.